To access the Ladies Gaelic management system, enter the URL people.ladiesgaelic.ie and you will be presented with this management system. As you can see from the logo at the top, you will know that you're on the Ladies Gaelic management system. To access the Ladies Gaelic system, you'll have to enter your username and your password. If you're not sure of your password, then please fill out the Forgot Your Password link as demonstrated by entering your full name, your club name, the county, your seven digit username and your official GA email address. And then press submit. If you're not sure of your official GA email address or your username, then you can also contact support via the following link. As you can see, our email address is support at servicesport.com and the numbers listed are depend upon where you're calling from. When you do then get your username and password, enter them into the username and password field and click sign in. The first page you will be brought to is a notification to let you know that in order to access the system you need to pay your system fee and your All-Ireland Navy fee. By doing this you can click on the PayPal button and this will take you to the PayPal section to make the payment. On the left hand side you can see the 30 euro fee for using the system and also the 150 euro All-Ireland Navy fee which must be paid before you can access the system. If you log in to PayPal using your email and password, you will then see an additional transaction fee has been added and this is a PayPal transaction fee. When you're happy, click on the pay button and whenever PayPal is done processing the transaction, it will notify you that you have made your payment. Once you're happy enough with making the payment, click on the return button to return to the service board site. The next stage is to set the three mandatory committee positions on the system, which are Secretary, Club Registrar and Chairperson. As you can see, there are currently no members, so you will need to click on Add Member. So what I'm going to demonstrate is entering in the details of the committee. So I'm entering in some dummy data. As you can see, I'm now entering the date of birth, put them in as an adult member type, we also have to put in an address one, a town, the county, the country and a mobile number. All of these fields are mandatory for using the system and every member must have these details added. Once we click register we get the green drop down notification at the top and at the bottom we can see the members who have been added or updated in this session. Now as previously stated we must add three mandatory members in order for them to be on the committee. So again, we have added in the four names, surname, date of birth, gender, the member type, address one, the town, and the mobile number. So once we click on register, we scroll down and we can see the additional member that has been added. So one final time, we'll add the third and final mandatory committee member that needs to be added to the system before we can access it. So again, four name, surname, date of birth, gender, LGFA member type and we can also select the LGFA player type as well. We put in address 1, town and the county and country and also the mandatory mobile number. I click register, the green drop down notification appears again and I can see the members who have been added. So at this stage I go back out to the screen and I select each member for each position. So Chris blogs for secretary, Jason blogs for club registrar and Jonathan blogs for the chairperson.